yesterday night we arrived in Pune. We had a great time. We, uh, we went around, we saw the nightlife, it was really fun. And now, today, we are starting our day by going to the Film and Television Institute of India, which we are in front of. We are going to go in and now investigate more and learn more about it. building you see behind me that's FTII studio number one which was previously or formerly known as Prabhat Studios that was where Prabhat Studios first started from. Before FTII, this hmm. these two studios was owned by these four people, five yeah. people, Prabha uh, Studio. Yeah. And then the the last date, last days of Prabha, when the all the four partners were gone everywhere, yeah. scattered, and uh, and Prabha was also about to shut down, and nobody was making film. So Damle gave this land to. Uh, government of India and told them to set up a film school here. <laughs> Right now I'm in Prabhat Studios. Uh, it is a pinnacle of Indian cinema because it all started here way back when and and I'm really lucky to be standing inside. It's a blessing and I couldn't really do it without an official student here because I'm not really allowed to be in here or shoot in here. So I'm really thankful for that and I feel really blessed just being here because there's too much history over here and there's too much to learn about everywhere around this institute in Pune. There are lots of filmmakers or the chain of filmmakers pass out from FTI like uh, Manikal, Kamal Saru, then uh, Adur Gopalakrishnan, Girish Kasarwaldi, John Abraham, and, uh, Govind Hirani. These are the filmmakers, they came out of FTI and they started making different kind of cinema. Okay. Which was the... And these are the people, those who helped to grow parallel cinema. The pond you see behind me is named after V. Shantaram, who was one of the five founders of Prabhat Studios. Uh, and whoever has seen Prabhat films will know what importance this pond has over here, the significance it has in this institute and even in many films. Uh, and to, like, and I think today uh, my tour of FTI Institute is over. Now we have to move on. But I'm really glad that I could come here and learn about a lot of history because I was really mesmerized by the history of this place, Prabhat Studios and the Institute and uh, I could only get a glimpse of it because I don't have enough time. I wish I had more time, uh, like, I don't know, a day at least, because uh, today I had, I think, about a few hours, but which I think are not enough, because there's a lot of history here, and there's a lot to learn, and hopefully in the future, I can come here and learn some things, or can just help this place, 
uh, because this place is uh, the pinnacle of Indian cinema and it always has been and I think it will be even for studies because it teaches a lot and it has a lot of history and I really feel enlightened and blessed just to be here.